Hi, I'm Ben Secret, and today we're going to be looking at one of Photoshop CS6's new filters, the Tilt Shift Blur. And the Tilt Shift effect is a sort of gradiented blur, and this has become popular recently for creating those fake miniature photography images. And it does this by simulating the effect of having a very shallow depth of field somewhere in the middle of the image, an effect you'd normally only be able to achieve if you were shooting something on a very small scale. So first up we're going to duplicate our image with Command J from a Mac or Control J from a PC. And you can use any kind of image for this effect, but the best tend to be landscape or architectural shots, shot from quite a distance with a fairly normal to long focal length on the lens, so not too much perspective. And now with our top layer selected, we can go to Photoshop's filter menu and go to Blur and select Tilt Shift. And straight away we're presented with these lines dissecting the image and a sort of progressive blurring effect with the focal point in the middle and a strip which is in normal focus. And we can rotate this in focus strip. Then we've got a dotted line on either side which is where the blur effect fades in. And then beyond that we've got a strip at the top and bottom which is full on blur. And I'm just going to turn our blur radius up to 21 pixels. And move the focal point to somewhere in the middle of this village scene. Now bearing in mind this effect is simulating depth of field, we can drag these lines to adjust how the blur fades in and how it fades out. So I'm going to use them to sort of track the depth of the landscape. So I'm going to make our in-focus region narrower. Then I'm going to have it so the blur effect at the top fades in through this flat patch of land. Then I'm going to bring the blur effect in sooner at the bottom where we've got these trees right at the front of the image. And then we've got this distortion effect which adds a sort of zoomed perspective to the blurring and turning this up can help create an extra sense of depth and scale and of us being zoomed in on a small scene. Um, turning it down does the inverse but I'm going to use it on about 80% and now we can OK that And the second part of this effect is giving ourselves some vibrant toy-like colours. And we can do this just turning the saturation up as normal or using the vibrance controls. But I'm going to use a slightly different method here. So first up, duplicate our tilt-shifted image. And now go to its blending mode and select colour. And now we're going to add a curves adjustment layer, but we can actually use almost any adjustment layer here and we're going to attach it to our top layer as a clipping mask and you can use bolt clicking in between the curves layer and the image layer and now we're going to set our curves layers blending mode to overlay and you can see straight away it's giving us much more vibrant colours and what it's actually doing is creating the same colour effect we'd get from overlaying a copy of our image on top of itself but without all the luminosity effects and this really looks quite different from regular saturation. And we can control the strength using the opacity slider. And I'm just going to use it on about 80. 